Just imagine a business that continues to run smoothly all by itself when you are at your daughter's soccer game, enjoying a week-long vacation with your girls or on a date night with the hubby. What a dream, right? Well, yes and no. A beautifully self-sustaining scaled business is a dream for a lot of us, but it really is 100% possible to make that dream a reality. So the how, right? Well, we're going to dive into the how later today, but before we get started, I wanted to just say hello. My name is Sarah Noked, and my team and I both help people scale online by becoming online business managers through our OBM school programs. And we also help busy bee entrepreneurs, <clears throat> that's right, you button up your online businesses so that you can claim your freedom back through our OBM agency. So basically we do everything OBM, whether you want to become one or you need to hire one. Now, maybe that gives you a clue about what we're going to be talking about today because yeah we're talking about online business managers and how they can help your business scale and honestly become less of a headache so if you are ready for an online business manager or you not sure where you're at stay tuned i'm going to help you get there so let's jump right on into it starting at square one, right? What is an online business manager exactly? And how can we help you scale your business? So an online business manager works directly with small business owners and is responsible for managing aspects of your day-to-day -day operations. And these are things that you shouldn't be worrying about as the head honcho in your business. So those things that you can delegate. So let's dive a little bit deeper. What do those day-to-day -day operational activities entail? Well, an OBM can manage a variety of aspects in your business, like manage your team, manage various projects that are happening, manage launches, etc. But no matter what they manage, their overarching goal is to create and implement systems in your business. Yes, standard operating procedures are the lifeblood of a seamless business that can run on its own and scale. So if you haven't heard of SOPs before, I'll give you a brief description. So basically any recurring task in your business should be put into a standard operating procedure. So this is daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, all of those things. Anything that repeats is fair game to capture in an SOP. So it could be things like engaging on social media with your audience to, you know, launch strategy and things you're doing for your launch, ongoing, recurring, these things can be systematized in a way that each and every team member is working cohesively towards the same goal without you having to micromanage or do it all on your own. So it is an online business manager's job to build out and implement these SOPs in your business while also keeping in mind the goals and the big picture vision of your business. We become sort of like your partner in crime and really our job is to bridge that big picture with the systems and processes being put in place so that things get done more systematically in a way that upholds what you want to be doing in your business. So there's definitely parts in your business that you want to have a standardized way of doing things. And the only real way to convey this effectively to your team without micromanaging is through systems. So if you haven't figured it out already, an OBM is there to unload your plate of tasks that honestly, you shouldn't be dedicating all your time or energy to as the business owner. We are there to create space for you to think about strategy and growth and things in your business that really only you can handle. It could be about creating a new product. It could be about having more time to be on podcasts, things that only you can focus on in your business. Now, I think we're ready to move on to part two, but before I do, in case you want to learn more about systems or SOPs, I'm going to pop a video here all about creating SOPs. Um, and it's definitely something that you want to check out because I always tell everybody, if you want to scale your team, you need to start by capturing your systems, right? Now, leveraging the skills of an OBM to scale your business sounds great, right? Before you can really plan for that, you need to determine if your business is ready for an OBM. So let me preface this by saying, if you don't have all of these three things, these three ingredients, don't worry, okay? Part three of this video is gonna talk more about what steps you should be thinking or taking to, to really get your business ready for this quote unquote, perfect OBM business partner. So first things first, you need to have clarity around your business, the vision, the mission, and the goals, okay? So you have to have a clear idea 
of the direction that you're growing, okay? If you don't have to be perfectly clear, like no one, you know, it's not about looking into your crystal ball, but you do need to have some semblance of clarity, some goals that you wanna hit in the upcoming year. So if you don't have clarity around this, an OBM is not gonna be able to do our best work. It is your job to really understand your business mission and goals and convey it to us so that we can implement the right systems that are gonna help those goals come to life. So it's not our job to set up those initial pieces as an OBM, but a lot of the times I find I spend a lot of time with my client, helping them to get more clarity and really refine the goals and the vision. In a similar light, you need to be ready to delegate, okay? So the next piece is delegating. You need to know that other people can do things on your team just as well, if not better than you, okay? And I get it. This is a hard mindset shift to take and rocking this solopreneur life is fun for a little while, but if you really wanna scale and create more freedom in your life as an entrepreneur, you need to really embrace team. And trust me, it will take you very far. Okay. So when you really know that you need to delegate and you're ready to kind of bring on that person to help you, it's amazing. But if you feel like only you can do these things on your team and you only you can publish the blog in the most perfect way, then you're never ever going to scale with peace of mind and with energy because you will be burnt out. So next up is revenue. So we typically work with businesses that are making at least 100,000 US in gross annual revenue or 150. And this is basically because OBMs do our best work when we can be in a client's business for about three months at a minimum, okay? Because 90 days is what really takes us to um, understand the business, understand the funnels, understand the nuances so that we can really make a difference. And if you can't afford to bring on an OBM at a rate of like 60 to $100 an hour for 20 hours a month, so we're looking at about 1200 and up, if you can't afford to spend that a month because the revenue isn't where it needs to be, then you might need to be looking at other team members, like perhaps a virtual assistant. Online business managers are a great investment for a small business, but they need to be at a place in order to afford them in the first place. But again, if you're not there yet, don't worry because we've all been there, right? And we all need to start somewhere. And there are some steps that you can take in your business today to get your business set up to work with an OBM. And let's start with something simple, right? Figuring out what the recurring tasks are in your business. So back at the beginning of this, I mentioned earlier that there are recurring things that happen daily, weekly, monthly. These are things that happen over and over again in your business. And quite honestly, they're probably consuming a lot of time for you at the current moment. So take some time to sift through your business, map it all out, identify the opportunities for automation and delegation. That my friends will be the first step to shifting into that team mindset into that delegation mindset and being able to clearly communicate with an OBM how your business is currently running so that they can step in and optimize your workflows. Next up, you need to get clear on your business vision. Remember, if you are not, it is not an OBM's job to kind of come in and swoop you off your feet, right? We can help you strategize, we can help you get clarity and get things done, but you really need to have a solid vision in your mind first. So you can ask yourself questions questions like, where do I see my business in a year from now, in two years from now? What are the sorts of big rocks that I want to accomplish this year? And last but not least, start setting up your own systems, okay? So you don't have to be a pro, you don't have to be an accredited OBM to get started. We actually have a foundational SOP kit that are gonna help you set up those systems that you need, that are gonna help you take the first steps towards building a streamlined, self-sufficient business. So if you wanna access our starter kit for standard operating procedures, I'm gonna leave that link below and I really, really, you know, whether you are ready to hire an OBM or you are uh, not sure, that's a great place to start. And last but not least, if you are interested in learning even more about how you can leverage the power of systems, remote teams, and digital tools to start scaling your business and get all the things buttoned up to eventually hire your perfect OBM, then you definitely need to join our upcoming free challenge. It is the Team Growth Challenge. And I'll be diving into my practical insights and actionable steps that you can start taking to implement systems that foster growth and efficiency in your business 
business so that you can seriously throw out the overwhelm and start seeing growth again in your business. So if you want to register or learn more, I'm going to leave the link below in the description. Click there, RSVP. If you can't make it live, uh, replays will be available. And remember, if you've got any questions about team scaling, working with an OBM, feel free to pop them in the comments below. And if you are ready to start working with an OBM, I also invite you to hop over to our accredited OBM directory over at obmschool.com forward slash directory to find your perfect OBM. Until next time, I'll see you soon.